Is this... Is this Connor? <gasps> it's Connor! He's not dead! I thought I killed him! Okay, well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Detroit Become Human. So, uh, we last left off on Marcus, I think. Uh, yeah. We last left off on Marcus. And we're back to Connor. I thought I killed him, but nope, he's alive, kicking it. So, now we're here, doing I don't know what. Jimmy Peterson, born... Two, one, uh, oh, one. Business owner, no criminal record. So that's not him. Edward Dempsey, uh, born two eight, nineteen ninety-five. Administrator, criminal record, none. Okay. Or, or. Androids are allowed wherever they want to go. Here we go. Wait, so I guess I have to look at their face doing doing this. Derek Myers, born 1989, security guard, criminal record none. Uh, hold on one second. Christopher Gray, born six. 1883 unemployed me oh criminal record DUI shit lieutenant Hank Anderson born 9 6 1985 police lieutenant criminal record none so we found him I have to, I must introduce myself lieutenant Anderson my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. Oh, oh well. You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Uh... Person. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. You know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> no. Where? Oh, no! <laughs> Connor. Never mind. Oh, no, I got it down on him. Um... I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Um. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. See that Jim wanders to take Oh, good. Make it a double. It's so scary because I don't know, like, they give you, like, this time frame and I don't know, like, what to click. I was going to threaten. I was so close to doing that on accident. <sighs> Did you say homicide? Yeah. 
Yeah, we got him to be neutral with us. You can't see me, but I'm doing the thingy majority. Oh, wow. This lieutenant, he don't and give up. Um. Whatever you say, lieutenant. Yay! Fucking a, whatever I say. Conflicting orders. Selecting what? I didn't read that last thing. Follow Lieutenant Anderson. He's either he about to get so mad. I'm not confirming anything. Anything to look at? Oh my gosh, sorry if you heard that. That was my door. That's so crazy. Hey gang, what's up gang? Um, let's look around for a little bit. I think we could. How long before the whole country's underwater? Yeah, I wonder that. Same thing too. So there's not much to look at. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. What part wow, of the that car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole fell. <laughs> so Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. Use R1 switch to kill. Lieutenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That when he found the body. Anything to look at out here? No, but a lot of garbage. It was even worse before we opened the window. The victim's name is Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbor, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time they hardly ever saw him. Well, the state he's in. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. But I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I I'll be outside if you need me. Now, what do we do? Review evidence, 1 through 10. Wow. Anything over here? Let's start right here. Oh, wow. Red ice. I'm guessing that's a drug? Yeah, drug. Victim used drugs. It's perfect. It's way too neat. No human rights like this. Oh, uh -huh. Oh, Jesus, what the hell are you doing? I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't put any more evidence in your mouth. You got it? Got it. Oh, fucking hell, I can't believe this shit. But we got it. Dried blood from Carlos Ortiz. No fingerprints. Android involvement? Question mark. I don't know why, but ever Chris, since I did that short film, blood. I just but I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Um, 
red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked the party. Um, I don't know. Every time they talk about androids, I like just like feel like they're talking about me too. I don't know. It's just you know, it's just my thing. That's full okay. Analysis on the narcotics. Dried blood. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Hey, Mike, you finished taking samples there? Yeah, that's it. Oh. Got it. Oh, wow, the club. That's nothing. How much do I have? Three out of ten. CSI. CSI Miami. Model, okay. Door was locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Suspect didn't escape this way. Android sex officially better, Jesus. Is your android spying on you? <gasps> Cyberlife could be using its androids to collect private information. Oof, you guys can read this if you want. Just pause, because I'm not gonna <laughs> read this. Anyways. Murder weapon taken from here. Fingerprints, uh, matches Carlos Ortiz, criminal record, theft, and ag aggravated assault. Ooh, that's not good. Ooh, reconstruct. Ooh! Deviant took a knife. Okay. Deviant was attacked. Emotional shock. Oh, wow. Okay. Huh. 
interesting. Fingerprints, matches, yeah. Signs of a struggle. Ooh. Ooh, we got seven. Hold on, we're almost done. Dried blood. I know, let me change this angle, por favor. Because it's really bad. No, I don't think this is what I'm looking for. Or is it? what I'm trying to look for because it says this here let's check let's see let me try that again No, seriously, there's nothing. I don't know. Okay. Red eyes. So he's been doing the doobies. Knife wounds. 28 knife wounds. That's too much, don't you think? Victim fell here. Victim was stabbed. They came from the kitchen. He was stabbed. 
28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Try to look for that last one. I don't really know what it can be. Let's try this again. There's not much, unless I can look around, but I don't think so. No, I guess that's... I don't know. We're just gonna have to miss that one, I guess. I really like the score. Where is he? Oh, he's right here. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... Uh, in the living room. In the no! living room. In the I think you should look harder at the mess in the I'm kitchen. I'm in the kitchen, jeez. I think that's where it all started. Darn it. There are obvious signs of a struggle. Question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android. Um, with the bat? With the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. Through the chair. No, that can't be right. It doesn't fit the evidence. Oh no. Um the android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to the living room. I'm so bad at this. I'm sorry, guys. And he tried to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim. With the, with the knife. knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh. But I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. Wow. Let's follow. Move y'all. Okay, I'm not sure. Over here.
Nothing. I can't even see what that is. A closet? A ladder was used. Ooh. <gasps> Traces lead to the attic. Oh! Find something to climb. Just offering what? Can I get the chair? chair. I'm going to check something. Uh, I'm going to check something. He's like, my god, this android. I love that kid. I love him. Coloring like the blues that stand out. <gasps> oh my gosh, she's here. Keep going, Connor, keep going. I'm so. This is intense, y'all. Like, intense. Oh my gosh, we're gonna see him. <gasps> oh. I was just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? Oh my gosh! It's gonna make me decide. It's here, Lieutenant! Oh shit. Chris! Ben! I didn't even get to choose! Here. Come on! Oh my gosh, these graphics are so good. Wow. Wow, so this is what happened. Oh wow, I got most of it except those three. That's good. Cool, let's keep going. November 5th, 2038. Oh, we're back with Kara. 914. Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming.
Is that spaghetti? Spaghetti. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Damn house. What do I do? Go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They're never tired. They're never sad. So fucking perfect, they ruined my fucking life. Whoa, calm down, dude. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Oh my gosh, she's literally not doing anything. Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off! You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account, damn it! It's all your fault. Daddy, no! It's all your fucking fault! Oh my god, that is not Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move, or I'll bust you worse than last time. So we just don't move, or what? Shit about how I felt. I did everything I could to make her happy. It just, it just wasn't enough. I just wasn't good enough for her! Little fucking brat. Here, I'm gonna see how much dialogue he has left. Oh my gosh, we're doing it guys! Ah, uh, what should I do? Do something now, um... Oh gosh, I think I should. I think I'm gonna fuck. So look, I can reason with Todd. I just feel like it would end up in a bad situation and I die. I can try to protect Alice. I mean, I'd probably die either way, but you know. Go, Kara, go. Where is she? Oh, 
He's coming. He's gonna hurt me. Run! Get away, or he's gonna break you like last time. Alice! Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh, shoot. Watch out, Carl. Come here, bitch. Oh my gosh. Guys. I was so scared. Alice, honey. Alice. Look, look. Dad is wounded. Oh my gosh. You're mine. You're both mine. Two, get, 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 get. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. And there is literally no way I could you escape have to that. Obey me. You're mine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys, that was so intense, I'm gonna cry. Fuck, I've never been good at quick times. Never been good, and oh wow. I did that without cheating. I need to take a breath. Like, I need to take a breath. Like, a big, fat breath. Whew! That was... Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm seriously... Oh. That was too much for me. That was too intense for me. I, like... I want to cry. Wow. Like, I'm seriously... I think I'm going to cry. Um. Shoot. I wonder what the other ending was. Kara... And Alice fought their way out. Do you think another way was that he just lets them? I don't know. But anyways, uh, that's going to be it for this part. It was super intense. Oh my gosh. But I'm glad Connor didn't die die. Because if he did, I probably would have been sad. And like lose half that gameplay. Oh, sorry if you guys heard something. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this part. And I will hopefully, hopefully, hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.